I'm Anil Kumar and we will take a few questions on relations and functions. The question here is, consider the relation between x and y that consists of all points x, y such that the distance from x, y to the origin is 10. Based on this, we have three questions. The first one is, is 6, comma minus 8 in the relation? Explain is 10 comma 1 in the relation explain and C is is the relation a function explain now we have a relation here where we're talking about coordinate points x y which are same distance away from origin now what does that mean let's try to sketch and figure it out so if this is a coordinate plane and we have a set of points which are 10 units from the origin this is 10 so that means 10 let's say let's say plus 10 here right so 10 units and from the origin so if you take all points which are 10 units from the origin you land up with a circle do you see that it's kind of like this so this is 10 units from the origin this is also 10 units this is also 10 units so that is the situation correct so it is at times important to visualize it helps you to answer the questions correctly so now we have a figure here and we can now figure out whether the point 6 minus 8 is in the relation or not now if coordinate point 6 minus 8 is on this circle in that case distance of this point from the center should be 10 units right so that is what it means so how do you find distance? 6 minus 8 means somewhere here we are considering point 6 minus 8. So, so the distance will be 6 square plus minus 8 square square root. So that is the distance of a point from origin, right? So let's check this out. So which is square root of 6 square is 36 minus 8 square is plus 64 and that gives you 100 and square root of 100 is indeed 10. So we find that 6 minus 8 is in the relation. Since the distance of this coordinate point from the origin is 10, right? So somewhere, let us say somewhere here is this point and it is on the circle. So that is one approach to this. The other approach could be since you found that set of points which form the rela relation is the one which makes a circle then the relation is x square plus y square equals to 10 square the distance from the origin is 10 so radius is 10 for the circle right so since the radius is 10 so we could use this relation also so if you substitute 6 here 6 square plus minus 8 square you get 36 plus 64, which is 100, which is 10 squared. So that satisfies the equation also. So if you are required to find the relation in the form of an equation, it may be a good idea to add this in your solution. Okay. Now let's look into part B, which is, is 10 plus 10 comma 1 in the relation or not. Well, we can find the distance from origin. So to find distance, the formula being used here is as you know the formula being let me write down the formula here distance is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square that is the distance formula right when we say origin then the other point uh, x2 y2 is 0 0 for us and this is we can say we can say we can call this as x2 how does it matter right x2 y2 we can call this as x1 y1 okay so we are using this formula so we'll get back to the same thing let us now find the distance of this coordinate point from the center now the dis distance here since the other point is origin will be square root of 10 square plus 1 square so it is 101 so square root of 101 is definitely more than 10 so it has to be 20 point something correct 
So we can just calculate. We know it is more than 1. Square root of 101 is equals to, in decimals, 10.0, let's say 5. Okay. So that means definitely this point is not on the circle. So this point is somewhere outside the circle, 10 and 1. So x value of 10 and y value of 1. So at 10 it is kind of 1, maybe maybe somewhere outside. So slightly away from the center. So outside the circle. Do you see? So this does not fall on this relation. So from these two examples you understand how to find whether a point is in the relation or not. So the first one is yes and the second one is no. Reason is that the distance of the point from the origin is not 10, right? It is not 10 units for the second case. And for the first case, it is 10 units. And therefore, it is on the relation. Now, part C is, is the relation a function explained? Now, for every value of x, we should have a unique value of y. Only then, a relation is a function. In this case, if we consider a point, and check the values, we will find two values for a value of x within plus and minus 10 and therefore it is not a function. So we say it is not a function since it fails. If we sketch it and explain, we can also say it fails vertical line test and vertical line test is that if you draw a vertical line and it intersects the graph of the function at two points in that case we will say it fails but when we are considering coordinate points you could give some example even one single example can work for you for example the point if you consider x value as 0 and y value of 10 and then 0 and minus 10. So as you can see, both 0, 10 and 0 and minus 10 lie on the relation, right? On the relation, right? So from here we see that at x equals to 0, we have more than 1 value of y, right? Value of y. And therefore, this is not a function. So this is a relation which is not a function. So you could explain it with the help of coordinate points also. The idea of going through this question in different ways is that this particular question can be asked in so many different ways. Now once you understand how to explain and approach, you can actually answer such a question in your test paper and get excellent marks. All the best.